the, I love to see that. That's what Fortnite's about for me is the shenanigans. And so when players just kind of embrace that and try and get a little crazy, it's, uh, it feels good. I like seeing that. I want to see more of it, especially because we have the duos warm-up game coming up next. Oh my! Look at look at his just look at the the eyes. This the eye. The <laughs> marshmallow stop. Every time it, just, out, brother. it makes me feel things. Yeah. You know, yeah. honestly, yeah. it really yeah. does. It really does. We got this next matchup starting up, and as a matter of fact, it seems like the battle bus is all loaded up, and it's now time to start our second match. Come on, crowd, let's, let's make, make some, some noise. noise. Let's get hyped up. We got Woo! one more game after this one, but this is the warm-up matchup, the duos game, where we're going to see the synergy between these teams, between these duos. And let's see where we drop it. Now it appears uh, a whole bunch of players dropped out immediately. You can see a couple actually looking at Tilted, which surprised me a little bit. Uh, Sniper Wolf making a move in here, just trying to fly in, find somewhere safe to land. And we're going to have a lot of players doing similar things. Looks like the middle of the map might be pretty empty. We have players, if CD in the third does not end up in Dusty Divot, we have a problem. Uh, Alie, Alie. Going all the way to the north side, Wailing Woods, Risky Reels. Going to be a very open field in the middle of the map. We have what, what looks like three, four teams around Tilted Towers. We've got a lot going Junk Junction, a couple. Uh, Myth and Paul George landed Snobby Shores. They're solo there. We have uh, Josh and Pokemon. Josh Hart going all the way to the north side. We got a good spread here. I like this. And actually, some shots already starting to go down, but just a lot of activity. Nobody mad us. Shots coming up. Arubius. Arubius. Oh. <laughs> Lil Yachty go down. Lil Yachty, that's it. Arubius, like I was saying, such a, such a nice guy and immediately thirsts in game. Wow. There's no chill. <laughs> hey, man, it, this is serious, okay? Some serious There's a lot stuff. on the line. I, I, actually, in this game, there's kind of nothing on the line. So I, is that is that a, a negative thing, just to thirst early like that? You'd think he was running the, the Rust Lord skin, right? Tim the Tapman just got knocked out by Expert Thief. One shot girl gets knocked out as Tim, well. what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> man, a lot of Sorry. good players are just starting to fall. Drop like flies. You actually have one in front. Oh, Allie no. Knocked out. Allie is in a world of hurt. All right, Pete, li listen close. I need you to pick up a gun. <laughs> the, you go the disrespect. Oh, wow. Muse Muse, no just chill. munching away popcorn, lightly salted, a little bit of butter. Pete went to the rescue. He's going Come for on, it. Pete. I think that he may have just telegraphed where he's coming from. Oh, this is this is going to hurt. The shots are going all over the place, but there you have it. Allie, Pete wins. He out of here. Just, was Musco just eating the popcorn that, the whole time? Honestly, my favorite emote because uh, it, it's rather it's it's like a hey, this is this is just we're just having fun, right? Thanks for this entertaining me. Delicious popcorn. Nope. Part next door and uh, El Rubius yeah, taking over on Haunted Hopper. Hills. Just hanging out. I like the Haunted Hills uh, drop. You actually get a lot of resources. You also get a couple chests out of this one as well. Pretty decent location, but El ends up losing. Losing his teammate. Oh. Frag's got a knockout part next door, which means all pressure on El Rubius to make a play here to try and take oh. out both at the same time. And there you have the it. The clutch! Clutch plays from El Rubius is going to well keep done. them going in this matchup. Yeah, hopefully he's got some some sort of healing. Party, you're a mess. Clean yourself up, brother. Reggie, taking, getting a couple knockdowns. Reggie uh, a, appears to have thirsted uh, Noah J, the winner of last game, so he's out already. Pokey and Josh hanging out in the anarchy. I would feel, I feel at home uh, in in the the farm landings. Being from Nebraska, it's uh, there's only three people that live there. It's very empty. So the farms. I mean, look, it's it's just it's just like home. It's just like home, Golden Boy. Yeah, this is you know okay. Well, what are we uh, you know taking a look right now? You got Anarchy Acres here, and Scissors is going to get knocked down. But oh boy, shot. CDN. The two shot. The two whoa, pump. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh whoa whoa whoa! <laughs> just heard him. Oh, my, my DPI. Everything's kind of screwing up. <laughs> the wild aim. We can't get See together. Yeah. Lyrics out. Xavier Woods, though, comes in with the save. No, it's, things aren't over yet. Reggie's still alive. Sees one shot. Xavier's going to have to clutch up here and save oh his teammate, who does not Brother. know apparently how to use a mouse right now. It all comes down to Xavier Woods because CDN apparently. Shotgun blast. Like, there we go. He like, does it. Through the power of positivity, yes. they were able to come out on top. He's not looking too good. Uh, what is that? 15 HP tops. Him and Xavier are gonna have to make uh, try and try and scrounge up what's left of uh, of 
of anarchy here and, right, and right, put together their uh, Yo, you know, any go. healing they have. It was a logistic issue. You're the, the, the banter between the two of them. I'm not sure what's going on with Caesar's mouse, but he's got crazy high DPI right now. Valkyrie oh. for the beats. Getting eliminated. It's too bad. Now, it's, it's not a big deal, though. It's just a warm-up for them. So getting knocked out this early, it's OK. Exactly. It's just it, a warm-up. doesn't it, count. Yeah, it's just a warm-up. doesn't count. It's no big deal. Focus up okay. for the last game. Prince Royce, Willie Rex, both sitting pretty. Look at, look at this Willie. Look at his setup. Purple AR, purple scope they are. The yep. green tack. Tack right now, kind of the, the go-to. Nate Chow taking out uh, Janine in the, in the feed there. That's too bad. You hate to see that. Uh, <laughs> a, a, a handful of frag grenades. I think they're just gonna, they're just clearing through retail. There's nobody else there right now. They've got, they can take it easy, kind of meet well, the Lito's neighborhood. Taking, taking some fire, as a matter of fact, though. They're going run. Very northwest corner. They, it looks like they just rolled out of, uh, of maybe the hotel. Well, or that many. The, little, the area between the hotel and Junk Junction. A little too easy situation. You know, for yeah, Robbie A saying he was going to play a little bit more passive. Ooh. Oh, boy. The shots. Tack shotgun coming out, trying to build. You see, just throws the wall super quick to hit it. And the nice play. play. Let's go. Nice well play done. there. Well done. And now they get to collect from the loot pinata post fight. I have a wow. Good engagement oh there. That's going to net them some solid eliminations. And I would say, you know, with 58 players remaining in this matchup. It's going a lot faster, isn't it? I, yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised. Well, now in, in, a, in a, a public match, at this point, I feel like there might be 12 players left. <laughs> made, depending on where everybody oh, yeah, got everyone just went uh, and, tilted and dusty. So. Josh and Pokemon stuck in the fight here. Oh. Uh, back up at Anarchy. Just trying to build and defend any a couple layers is all you need so you can start taking shots at your opponents. And it looks like they're going for a pinch. Josh Pokey are, are stuck on like a single structure. You've got one going to the north, one going to the south a little bit, trying to get a, a flank here. Dreads and Artie in a pretty good position. Yeah, right they're now. putting a lot of pressure onto Pokemon and Josh. So that is just gonna force him to continue to play some defense here. And and I think if you're in this situation and you're a fan of Pokemon and, and Josh, you are a little concerned. But wait a minute, oh, I stand Josh, corrected. Josh Hart getting the knockdown on Dreads. I got you don't want to thirst yet. You can use him as bait. Here comes the, the shot. That shot, there it is. Woo! Good nice. shot, yeah. Josh. Well done. Hey. <laughs> and those comms. Uh, <laughs> the disrespect. Oh, oh and the, the kiss of death. <laughs> 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 All right, well, kid, loser fruit hanging out in retail. Backpack kid went out a little early in the in the solos matchup. So we've, got, we've got a little one v one situation. I didn't realize Will Lowry knocked down at the bottom of this port of fort. Loser fruit trying to drop the structure out from underneath. Backpack kid is moving up. Now that's surprising because uh, maybe loser did not loser fruit did not realize uh, backpack kid is actually on your on your, oh. on your team. Loser fruit, you don't want to knock the structure out from underneath him. No, that's that's what I guess it's bad. Not a big deal. The elimination. Oh, right. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of Build damage. Defend. Build and defend. And the storm now starting to come in. It's creeping, but they're, they're going to be close. So they should be OK for the time being. Kitty plays, though, is going to be to the left of him here by retail row. I uh, I witnessed Kitty plays and Chandler Riggs uh, practicing on stream, uh, I believe, earlier this week. And oh, right there, as you can see, uh, one of the issues we've dealt with uh, from time to time, phasing through structures. But it's OK, because you're going to drop behind Noms, a uh, place that I'm often caught shopping for my groceries. Uh, and the top, like I said, the top down view, you got Chandler and Kitty both moving up on the same structure. You have to be careful there, because if, you, if you're on the same ramp, the same structure built up, and it gets knocked down. You're in a bad spot. Just drop and rock. Oh, yikes! Oh man, that is Kitty. Oh, oh! you got to be careful there, Kitty. <laughs> There's a trap. <laughs> 150, for a 150 damage. 25. Those take a big bite out of you. Well, that the good news is, uh, at the very least, she, she'll have the med kit as well as the big pot, and you know, a little little dance. Because why not? Why not? Oh, I know. Rubius and Party Next Door Shots are out oh. of the game. That is, uh, you know, some some friendly fire there. Uh, you could some that Rubius karma Lulia. for the dance moves earlier from Rubius, maybe. Potentially, potentially, and you know, Rob Funches and, and and Lolito actually doing a really good job. You have Vince and Paul George. They're stuck down at the edge here. They're they're towards the edge of the circle. Kind of, uh, kind of a disadvantageous position because Ron, Ron and Lolito have they have height, they have the circle, they have everything going for them. They're going to see a rotation across to the north side, kind of try and line a sight with the hills uh, and the trees if they can. Uh, back over. CD on the third and Femstaff, their teams, they're they're 
fighting each other right now. They just ran into each other. I was watching them. Looks like they're right on the river right now. We have two tap get, getting thirsted by Frizz. And things have just, I tell you, man, everyone's just on pins and needles right now. Mm -hmm. You can just tell, like, the tension in the arena, the tension <laughs> on the stage. Everyone is feeling it here. And Now, this is a 1v1 between John and Frizz to save Jeff, who's stuck down at the bottom right now, knocked down. So Can you do it? Frizz's teammate slowly ticking out. But if he makes a play here, you get a pickup, get a little build, a little edit, a little spice. You got to get in there. You can't wait too long, though. Uh-oh, no shots. That looks like a lack of, uh, of knowledge. And it, and it looks like uh, <laughs> he doesn't know where he is. He lost a man. And it looks like John actually it does not have anything to really uh, heal with here. So, you know, if you are a betting man, advantage. Actually, I stand corrected. Does have those two minis, but hasn't elected to pop them pop yet. yet. I, I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen that. Going for a clutch revive here. Scoop up your teammate. 2v1 is much better than 1v1, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. I wonder nope. what's in the, the kit. Oh, <laughs> and it's like, you, uh, you know, you hate, you hate to see those uh, adjusting some DPI setting settings. changes. <laughs> I can't wait to see uh, Ninjas in a fight. Twitter. Ninja Marshmallow, uh, the elevation, like I said before, uh, height advantage. Very important. Ninja knows that. You see a, a lot of the plays that he makes, a lot of the clips that he posts uh, on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, messing with settings. Maybe in the middle of a fight, not the best idea, but we'll see. We'll see. Marshmallow. Maintaining all the way above. It's, it's, he's got the, the eagle eye view with that uh, that heavy shotgun. He can't see out of his hat, but he, he has got a pretty good view. <laughs> I don't there. know how he's doing this. He, okay, okay. Fun insider fact, the marshmallow uses echolocation. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, like, that makes all the sense go. now. You know, just kind of. A little build, 1v1 build fight here. Marshmallow's watching from above. His ninja teammate's going to oh. be Oh, now, oh he's got the map out. Maybe, oh. He's trying to build, just protect. Oh, let's go. What a play. Marshmallow with a shotty. And there's that, there's that heavy. That thing is a shredder. It goes through, she, it just, it dominates. I think that, we were talking about it yesterday, actually. Uh, who, who's that? I believe I was speaking with, uh, with Ninja, as a matter of fact, yesterday. Yeah. We were talking about it, and he had mentioned, he's like, right now, I think uh, heavy shot is the way to go, currently. So, now, what, what's, what's, your, what's your preferred shotgun setup? I, I love, well, in the current meta, I love the heavy shotgun. Preferably two of them, legendary. They're hard, they're hard to find, though. She knows what's up. You go to the unicorn a, shotgun SMG? setup. Not bad. Typical gamer, I don't know what you want to do with it from the outside here. zone. Josh, going down. Pokimane all by herself out here. <laughs> oh, man, play. just look at that. No, Pokimane got this oh, easy. Oh, 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 look at the oh, pickaxe oh. fight. Typical gamer. Did typical gamer just try and BM with the uh, the bludgeon swing there. Is that what I saw? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to ask. We'll have to ask. Missed rotation of, uh, of weapon selection. Liam by himself. Blue pistol. He's got some uh, some plunge, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the sticky nade. He's got my jam, though. He's got that suppressed pistol. Press pistol. That's my jam. Jalen and Kitty dropping rockets to the south. Just trying to see what they can do. Smart Redway uh, not looking good as far as, uh, as HP Nayshot goes. Nayshot actually just took out Paul George, by the way. Just want to comment on that. Missed teammate goes. And Musa, <laughs> Musa uh, played himself. <laughs> what happened? But Myth came in with the, with the shotgun elimination. Avenging so. his teammate. As it should be. As it should be. Typical Gamer is doing a lot of work. Vince Staples is a... Uh, He's a be bit of a beginner with Fortnite. I, I also have to talk about something here as well, guys. <laughs> Courage it has been hanging out in Pleasant Park and has literally not left. Perhaps yeah. looking to buy a house. <laughs> really? Now Chandler and Kitty have a really good spot here. They're just gonna spam out the walls. It's like a knocking on the front door, just trying to say hello. Chandler, I expect big plays here. He's got an opportunity to move in. Chandler can go huge, finds a player in front of him. Shots are out. Still, though, that pressure from up above. Kitty really supporting him. Very well, the rocket comes through. Oh, man. Wait. Chandler went out because Kitty. Oh, Kitty oh. plays fell and, and didn't stick the landing. Mm. <laughs> the whole team eliminated. <laughs> yep. Look at this strategy. Ty and Vic. Uh, is it like a party house? What's going on here? Hey, you know, just. just Big chill. Star, I'm going to need you to explain <laughs> yourself. I actually now, oh, so I, I'm, I'm looking at where they are currently in the map. They're more on that north side, so like the northeastern portion. They're in of, the circle, uh, though. They're yeah, in they're, they're, they're in the circle. circle. That's what I was going to say. They're in the circle northeastern of Pleasant Park. So they are in a, you know, they're in a decent location. I think they're, what they're doing is they're playing to their strengths here. You know, they're playing to their strengths. It, if you're or, at home or, or and, and you, you've <laughs> chosen this play style, you know that Vicstar and Ty Dallasine could go take a bathroom break and come back and be fine. <laughs> yes. You yes. know, th these kind of, this kind of thing I think should be played in blitz mode just to prevent <laughs> this sort of thing from happening. Again. 
Demetrius and Gotaga building up inside the factories of Loot Lake. Just trying to, you know, maybe they're trying to start a business together, establish a base of operations. <laughs> and also, you know, they're very wealthy right now because they have a lot of materials. They do have oh, a lot they of materials. They have a lot of materials. They're, they're rich. They're important. They smell good. <laughs> they, that's right. It's true. It's Put true. on some anti-perspirant. They're rocking. It's typical. Going to rotate in. You have the storm is going to is going to force engagements here. You're going to have players that have to fight. And hopefully, now, uh, there's only eight AR rounds left uh, for Diggle right here, but it might not matter. He's got the hunting rifle. We've got some eliminations going. East side of this, this, the circle is, uh, is a hot zone right now. You have a lot of teams coming in all at the same time. Somebody's got to build, build a one by one, sit in the top, and just, just gatekeep the whole time. And I, I guarantee you they will, uh, they'll come out victorious from this. Kinstar uh, and Sean might have the right idea. Honestly, kids are, again, building up that little the little metal ramp structure to stay safe up top. He's got rockets. He has an excellent view of the map. You can just see people coming in. He's got a bunch of ammo. This is looking like a good team right now. This is, yeah, they, and Kinstar once again putting himself in a situation for victory. Just got to make the closeout happen. Exactly. Now they are outside of the next the next safe zone. You see the roof going up, trying to protect the top of that middle structure. Oh, oh wow! Ouch! What a shot! Forty-seven and crit to the shield in there. And is that a massive structure that I saw to the north? Where I, I, it looks like Marshmallow Ninja. Which, by the way, if you haven't noticed, uh, Marshmallow and Ninja still have Sky Art underneath them in their structure, and I don't think they know. <laughs> Wheeler X taking out some Red Redway. They've got a squatter in their house. They do, they do. I wonder if he's paying rent. No. And if so, how much do you think Marshmallow and Ninja would, would charge? Is it, is it in, in Chug Jugs? Well, uh, yeah, it has to be. I, I, or, you know, maybe they could just go and knock in and uh, request the, the materials the old-fashioned way, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Vince, Royce, Willard, Vince is uh, oh, he's oh. tackling this one. He's going for it. He's They're going to be right in front of one another. Oh, oh. he's left oh. flick. Oh. Left the oh. 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 Come on. Oh. Typical gamer, though. Securing. Vince the exploded Willie Rex. It can't, hey, that, it, an elimination's an elimination, man. Take it how you can. <laughs> well done. Typical gamer. Gonna you pick know, up Vince, his... Vince, he did say, I'm new. And Typical was like, I got you. Don't worry about it. I it's think he was sandbagging. Yeah, it's there, sandbagging. You there you go. Great minds look alike. <laughs> And look at this here. <laughs> These two still, I mean, they're writing their memoirs. Maybe uh, maybe they're talking about life. They could be doing their taxes. Who knows? It's Big not the song. season, though. It's We're going to have to have a conversation. Maybe they're just man. planning, you know, maybe they're just planning like a joint vacation together. Ooh. Otaga and Demetrius. John's going to push up, push up. Typical gamer just picked up Vince. Oh, they're both lit up right now. It's uh, not this looking is, too good. This is oh, rough. No, no, typical, no. typical gamer is going to go down. Vince Stables all by himself. Vince, no pressure. Um, it's all up to all we're on about you. To find out if to win. Win. Yeah, we're about to find out if the skinny carries strong heat. 30 right? HP in a dream. 30 Got HP in the dream is dead. Okay. A brave pickaxe decision there. But I commend you for it. Well done. Gataga, Demetrius, both good shots. Gataga actually getting tap fired from the top of the mountain. I think Courage uh, and Ken is still up there just looking down. Marshmallow and Ninja still just hanging Todd out. Todd and Vic Star finally pushing up. They've decided that they want to look for They're leaving for their shack? They are leaving their shack. That's it, too bad. Oh, that, oh. Okay, so there's a... Is that, Purple is that? AR. Purple heavy shotgun. Yes. Blue hunting rifle. One of my favorite setups. And look, look at this man's shields. He's sitting on a chug jug and two fulls. He's got a campfire, 800 wood. He's doing great on materials. It's a little it, intimidating. I, honestly, I'm not surprised. And a lot of angles. He's taking the launch pad out just so nobody can try and swoop up on him. Uh oh. We have a little bit. Curse is going to back away here. here. Curse is going to go for it. He's going to go for it. What He's able to pick great one. Great shot. That was going to be some damage going through there. Curse, oh, the storm's going to come in. Courage doesn't have any shields anymore. Kinsar does get the elimination on Ty Dollar Sign, just so you know. Big Star, who's also lost to the Storm, unfortunate to see that happen. But now Courage, he has really nothing to work with here. He's going to be in a really bad spot. His teammate's going to be in the Storm yelling, help me. But Courage says, no, I need to try and make these plays. I'm an optic. I want to get, at very least, a sniper montage clip here for my troubles. But I just don't think that he's going to be able to do that, given the situation. It, act it actually cost Kenneth, uh, you know, his... Uh, his spot in the game right now. It looked like he ticked out of the storm, which... Oh, Marshmallow! Wait a second. Marshmallow gets Marshmallow. knocked down. 1v2 situation. All right, Ninja. The rematch. Let's go, brother. 
This is it. How, how fitting that these players are running into each other. But Skyrim, Demetrius, everyone, everyone is in this location currently. Skyrim it's Ninja the versus Skyrim. the world here. Skyark just managed to shotgun Demetrius, and Demetrius is down out of this fight. So it's going to be up to Gotaga to keep his team in this battle. Marshmallow, though, didn't stick to landing earlier. Ninja taking just a second here. He has a chance to pop the Chug Jug. And Skyart, they're, they're, they're like right next to each other. Did you not realize? Did, did Skyart not realize? Swingers coming in. I guarantee you the tension on Ninja's face right now is, is ridiculous because he just he just popped a, a chug jug literally feet from his opponents and I don't think they realized he was there. Ninja's POV, we're in Ninja's POV and he was able to put down some damage. Marshmallow though is about to go out. That's a save that might not He's playing happen. defense. He's playing defense. He has no other choice but to play defense here. No pressure, but there's about 50 bad guys around here. Everything is happening in this area. Gotaga, though, Gotaga. trying to stabilize, only has the minis to be able to keep himself oh. in this one, but Kipstar is going to get the, gonna get the elimination. Down. That's a fourth place finish, though, Ninja for Gotaga. Courage in the middle of all that, and we have literally the last four players right here. One team of two and two solos left. Skyheart's down. 1v2 situation. It's all up to Ninja. Ninja versus like two this. members here. Can Ninja make it happen? Can it's a situation it? that he's oh. been in so many times in the past, but he goes, gets the jump head. Maybe he's going to try and see if he can go and reposition here. That could be a potential. Look for the high ground. It's just such a pressure-filled situation for Ninja, but if there's one player in this moment who can clutch it out, it is certainly going to be him. We've seen him do it before. He can do it again. Just has to get up above. Here, here we go. go. Launch back Swooping up. in. He's, he has vision. He knows exactly where the enemy team is going to be located. Ninja's up top. Kimstar, though, going for it. Ninja, does he get any damage now? Quite yet, though. Gets with nice drops down in front, though. He's going to take some damage. But, oh, the Lefario takes out Sean. One more player left alive. <laughs> Woo. It's going to be Kimstar versus Ninja. 1v1. Well one. The second to heal up. Oh, he's got the rockets. The he's got the rockets, but Ninja has to play defense here. Oh, he might even have time to res here. He knows exactly where Ninja's gonna be. Oh, that's gonna be a considerable oh. amount of damage. Oh, Nin Ninja's gonna be in a bad spot here. Running away. Oh. Tail between his legs. Kinstar on him. Ninja, can he clutch it out? Ninja! Oh. Kinstar gets the win! What a play! Oh. Wow! Kinstar's been playing out of his mind both games already, and it shows what a finish. What a finish. Oh. Well played, though. Well played. Whew. Can we make some noise for our little kids, please? Let's go. Let's make some noise. Let's go. God. What a game from South Korea. Kid Star. Incredible plays there. Ninja uh, is stuck kind of in a position. You see the structure there. Things get pretty crazy when you get in a build fight like that, especially when you have uh, a number of competitive players stuck in the same area. Uh, build knowledge, the ability to swap, to ramp, and, and, and wall on your floors, and even incorporate some pyramids is, is crucial. And uh, of, of all the players here, all the competitive players here, uh, Ninja has that in spades. He's got the knowledge, he has the ability to build, and uh, I, I think I think Kinsar just just got just, he also, out just a little bit ahead. Kinsar also had uh, you know the rocket advantage as well, yeah. right? I mean, as soon as those rockets went down, it just it put Ninja in such a bad spot. I don't think he was expecting that he was going to take so much damage out of that one. I think he thought as well that he was able to position a floor to be able to cover for himself. It was just a rough situation uh, for Ninja to be in, especially after taking just a huge chunk with those rockets. Now, we, er, earlier we, uh, we had a moment to, to listen to Ninja and, uh, and get some feedback on maybe what he expected to do during these three games today. And he said before we get to the last one, the, uh, the charity game, he was maybe going to play around a